Hello, my name is Richard Hare. I'm the facility manager for the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints here in British Columbia. As you know, uh, the direction from the presiding bishopric is that the members take primary responsibility for the cleaning and care of the meeting house facilities. We currently have a full-time staff of five individuals, mostly based out of the Lower Mainland, and we are here to serve the uh, 22,000 members who make up uh, our customer base here in British Columbia. Without further ado, I'd like to introduce you to something new and exciting that I think will uh, prove to each of you that cleaning the meeting house can be fun and enjoyable. Each meeting house typically has an area that's uh, dedicated for uh, member cleaning supplies. I'm currently standing in one and I'd like to show you some of the things that are about to change. We approach this assignment with the hope that um, we could simplify. We have many families coming, we have young children, uh, everybody wants to participate. And so with that in mind, I think we've come up with a real solution. So let's get busy, let's clean house. Double some spray bottles, no longer going to be needed. A variety of liquids, cleaning, glass cleaners, surface cleaners, disinfectant cleaners, no longer going to be needed. My old friend, the string mop, no longer going to be needed. We are tired of spreading film. Woolly wonder, a thing of the past. Airborne, drifting around, useless. I'm sure it served its purpose, but as you can see, nobody cleans the dust mop. We're just spreading the dirt around. No more. Our old friend, the mop bucket. Pretty tough to pull the water, lift it, empty it, clean it. We don't need this anymore, people. I just want you to know we are not throwing many of these products away. A good company called West Clean has many contacts in the charitable organizations. They are willing to donate the products that we can donate to these fine organizations. It's now a new year. Out with the old, in with the new. And now we're about to introduce to you the new products that you'll be using in the coming year. Let me first start with the bucket. This charging bucket will now replace what used to be the big mop bucket. On the inside, are incremental lines indicating the fill levels. And we will be filling typically to begin with to the three mark. What we're going to be using to fill our charging bucket is a dispensing system that is graduated to dispense one to 256 parts by just turning on the tap. You notice I just used cold water. This is the reflex microfiber cloth and this is the baby that's going to do all the work. We count up how many rooms we're going to need these cloths. We have four bathrooms in this building. One, two, three, four. We've now put 15 cloths which would be the recommended amount to put in this bucket and then from there you take what you need and get the job done. Let me just underscore right now that nothing is to go back in the bucket. It's a one-way process. If you take it out of the bucket, it never goes back in the bucket. Thank you. And away we go. One thing to remember in the member closet is we do provide uh, latex gloves or powdered latex gloves uh, for your personal safety. Can we just talk a minute about these cloths? These are not rags. These are microfiber reflex cloths in a waffle design in order to grab the dirt. This product does not leave what's called surfactants behind. It penetrates through the residue 
and grabs the dirt. This really works. To maximize the use of each cloth, we recommend folding it in four. That's two. That's four. And what that, in fact, gives you is eight surfaces. Because when this side's finished, you simply flip it over and repeat that process. So I've now used one surface of the cloth. Now I have a dry cloth. I'm going to remove the product. You're supposed to go in one direction and then back because that's what grabs the dirt. The only time we recommend you using the dry surface cloth is on glass surfaces, mirrors, stainless steel items. Otherwise, wet cloth. That's it. Many of our buildings have cultural halls and they've got the wood floors. It was always a challenge to, after an event, clean up with a dust mop because it'd be pushed over, uh, drink spills and, and crumbs and so forth. And so this tool is going to do both of those jobs in one. It's called a reflex mop and it's, uh, it's a firm spongy end. And what you do is you take these clamps down, drape the cloth over, re-secure the clamp, and you're ready to go. Just want to demonstrate how easy it is to get a new clean surface. You simply lift the mop up, bring it back about an inch, and you've got a brand new surface in which to work. Look at that. What used to take me an hour, hour and a half, you'll see how fast it can get done. Not that long ago, with a string mop and a dust mop. Look at what we've been able to accomplish today. This is fantastic. So here we are in the chapel. We have a, a clean cloth, eight sides, and we would typically clean those areas where people's hands are touching. That would be handrails, top edge of the pews. These are the other surfaces that you might consider for wiping down places where people's hands will be touching. One area we do not want you to use these claws is on the musical instruments. They do not need pledge, they do not need waxing, they simply need dry dusting. This is a uh, dusting device. It's again a microfiber product. It uh, can bend and contort. The intent of this pole is to get up into the lights, into the pot lights where you see cobwebs into the higher areas, into the corners. In particular, these uh, funeral doors and windows are notorious for um, cobwebs. So we would encourage you to pay attention to those areas. Okay, we're about to enter uh, one of the restrooms. And remember, one cloth per restroom, and then one cloth for the floor. Follow me along and we will hit every area where hands touch. Most people wash their hands before they leave. Some don't. Please do. Here's a surface. I'm going to wipe it.
I'm going to change sides on my eight-sided cloth. I'm going to wipe down the counter and the sink. Remember, dry only on windows, mirrors, stainless steel surfaces. Now we go to the porcelain. I'm going to wipe down the porcelain, especially get under here, leaving it in a dampened condition. So this is the same product in a different dispensing device that you squirt and get up underneath the rim. Okay, just like that. And then we would swab aggressively. Make sure if you have these pads that they're cleaned on both sides. We also make available the workhorse paper towel. Probably in your best interest to use these on the first go round here. And so I would typically take care of any deposits that are on these surfaces in particular. Sometimes there's little dribbles on the floor. You might want to just treat those areas with this. Now we're going to use the reflex mop to finish off this room. Typically you start at the furthest point of the room and work towards the door and you'll never have to come back in this room for any cleaning purposes. The thing I like about this mop is the fact that it will get right into the corners right around the edge of the toilet, right behind the toilet. Look at that. You'd never be able to do that with a conventional round mop. Just pull the mop back every once in a while to get a fresh surface. Okay, so that was our experience in uh, the restroom care. And um, we'll move on now to cleaning up. There's one other change that you can expect to see in the meeting houses this coming year. That would be on the uh, garbage uh, dispensers. We have uh, narrowed it down to three sizes. This is the size that you'll find in the classrooms, typically. This is the unit you'll find in the restrooms, suspended on the wall for easy cleaning underneath. And this is the unit you'll see in the serving areas. Uh, it's on wheels, so it's easy to clean up after functions. In the larger buildings, there will be two of these supplied. In the smaller buildings, there will be one. In addition, oftentimes this is used to collect garbage uh, on cleanup day, going down the halls and cleaning the uh, receptacles as you go. So this is something else you can look forward to. We're trying to reduce the hallway uh, garbage cans. Uh, eliminate them actually uh, to preserve a quiet dignity that should uh, exist in our meeting houses. Thank you.